So I and Ella, this is again Alan, the Forex Algo Trader, and today's uh, video, I'm going to show you how to arrange input parameters like a pro, like a professional in this uh, instance. So what I do mean is uh, you can have uh, predefined settings like uh, you can see over here, input parameters like you can see over here, so which like uh, they are, they are very, very handy. You can see that uh, you can expand and uh, contract these input parameters that we do have over here. So you can see that, uh, yeah, if you have too many input parameters, like uh, for example, the our, our, our EA, our expert advisor over here, which is not the Epicus Prime, which I am using as an example in this uh, case to showcase what I do really mean. Like for the trading setup in this uh, instance, we can just like... Uh, collapse or expand it in this uh, instance so you can see that uh, we do have them arranged in a more ordinary manner something that you can just like uh, open and close that you can open and close you can just like uh, open some other settings and close them open some other settings maybe this one and then close it you can open maybe let's say this one you can just like open view it and then close and then an another thing that I'm going to show you is how to input most of these things that uh, how, how to, to to put away how do I even call it how to yeah I will just like uh, show you how to have uh, inputs that cannot be used for optimization purposes something which saves you uh, time and resources in this case at the end so just like hang on so this is very easy to do this one so let me just show you in a moment so what you need to do let me just collapse this one I'll collapse it up to some point over there. So what we we will need to do over here is uh, just open the meta editor by just like clicking this little IDE icon over here, which will open meta editor for you. Then I'll just like particularly go ahead and uh, pre-check this algo trading folder then click on new expert advisor from template click on next then we just need to give a name maybe uh, arrange arrange uh, let's say inputs just arrange inputs then click on next next and then finally finish so after this window opens we just like need to go ahead and create some input parameters so just go ahead and input some uh, put some input parameters so let's say we want to have a string a string or even let's say integer integer a is equals to let's say 10 or 1 <laughs> does it really matter the double let's expand this one then let's say we have double b uh, is equals to three then uh, date time uh, date time six okay not six but you can't have that on t let me let me fc is equals to uh, maybe say 10 then let's say uh, we have a boolean function over here let's say we have g okay let me have d is equals to let's say uh, true or even false does it really matter so let me compile this on which other variable that we can use over here let's say we have an enumeration in enumeration uh, let's say time frame time frames we can then have e is equals to maybe uh, we can have period let's say even period current what else can we have? We don't have a string data type of integer. We can then have f is equals to is equals to something particular like g h. <laughs> Does it really matter? So compile this one, and then you can see that whenever I go to the input section and then select, just go to overview, visualize. Then we need to choose our expert advisor. What was the name of our expert advice should be arranging? Arranging should be somewhere here. Yeah. Arrange inputs. Then yeah, if you go to input section, there is no there is nothing, nothing to be uh, visualized. So what you need to do over here, normally just like come over here and say 
uh, input input parameter and then i can just like particularly copy this one and then have it here and here and here and here and here so then we can compile this one and then we should have something in the input section so right now you can see we have a b c d e f in that uh, case so we do have a b c d e f as our inputs doesn't really matter which are again uh, customizable as uh, you can see which are again customizable then we do have a date time over here that we can then again particularly choose whatever that we want to have over there we do have a, an integer a double a date time a boolean an enumeration and a string if there are other things that uh, you can uh, these are the most basic one ones that you do normally use so what you can do over here maybe we want to have these as a these as a, we want to make it to to arrange let we just like put this one in a group so we can have input let's say input to have some distinction over here let's say we want to have uh, some distinction let's say um, the keyword that you normally use is group in this case then you need to provide it as a string format then we can say something like uh, like uh, let me call this one as first settings in this case and then I can just like basically have something like this one. so that is now we can have that group as the first settings however if we come to this point over here it is collapsible but it is all documented as the first settings uh, in the first settings group which you can just like uh, double click and then you expand it that is no it just like uh, assumes all the settings in this uh, case what if you want to have it in uh, in another in another group all that you need to do is go back to the ide then let's say over here we can then can just like copy this one and then we can have the second group over here so input group then this is now the second the second settings group in that uh, case so if i compile this one and then you can see over here that we do have the first group which is now collapsible and expandable in this uh, case and then we do have the second group which is again collapsible and expandable but just by just uh, double clicking on these uh, these uh, group in this uh, case so you can see how handy this one is you in this way you cannot be able to like uh, arrange your input parameters in a more if you like customary have too many inputs parameters for your expert advisor you just like want to group them so that you can manage them easily so maybe these are the general settings then the user doesn't need to see or have doesn't need to see or have uh, or uh, change anything in the second settings over here so the user can just like uh, can just like uh, expand can just like expand the first settings and then that is all can just like optimize this one let's say he wants to have 199 and this one maybe point uh, point uh, something <laughs> doesn't really matter so the user just like changes these settings over over here then maybe changes these on to maybe today and that is all that is no uh, oh you can see how handy this one is so another parameter that i did uh, say i would have as a as a bonus in this case is a uh, how to have you can see that whenever you go to optimization in this case whenever you go to optimization this this uh this uh what do i call it these parameter values over yeah they do have steps in this case you do have the starting the step and then the stop so whenever you want to run optimization for these settings these things maybe you don't want the user to the ui the, the user to change anything on this parameter this double parameter over here so what how what do you do how do you do this one you can just like come and have them as uh, a static input yeah something like this on the input parameter over here you can, the user can just have it as a static input in the, the case so compile then again let's say uh, 
a static input. Static input basically means that uh, the input cannot be changed. It is, it is static. It cannot be moved. It cannot be altered in this case. So that is what we, it does mean over. Yeah. So if you were to go back now, you can see that we don't have the start, we don't have the step, and we do not have the stop, which makes it, uh, which makes it. Uh, light light whenever you are running uh, optimizations you can just like come over here again and have a static input parameter so you can compile this one and then you can see you don't have the start step and stop which means that you cannot run optimization for it specifically however as a professional you just you just don't need to use this uh, static input parameter over yeah we can just like use s input s input this is what we do mean s input so s input is a like some kind of a short form of static input in this case it just like means the same so if you go back over here you can see now or for the time which we just did change to s input we have uh, we don't have start step and stop which makes it that uh, we don't have the steps thing over there so you can see how easy that one was in this case it saves your optimization and some other properties in this case i'm just like setting you up for these things so for the s input over here you can just like place your cursor anywhere inside the wording then press f1 on the keyboard the and the mql5 uh, documentation should be opened for you so right now you can see what you can just like go ahead and uh, read uh, uh, on yourself what the variables with s input modifier mean in this case it means the same as static input which means it cannot be used for optimization um, in this case you can just like go ahead and read the documentation so that is all that uh, you needed to know about this one very very super easy and very very handy so right now you can see that we made the first settings over here we just like made them uh, unoptimizable and then the second settings are now optimizable which means that the user can just like a like change the steps in this uh, case however for the string over here for the string strings that don't get optimized in this case so for the string you don't need to have the s input parameter so that is all bye bye and see you on the next video lesson so yeah bye bye nice trading activity ahead